Okay, actually while the adhesive is drying on the main fuselage piece, I said I'm going to start cutting out some more of the weave. I think I'm just going to cover the whole wing. Um, it's going to be a little bit more weight, but I think I'm just going to build this thing like a tank so it can uh, take some good crashes. Um, and actually I don't think it's going to add too much more weight than what I already uh, planned for the airplane. So let me get to cutting all the pieces out and we'll get ready to um, put some adhesive on and glue the rest of the uh, Henry's weave on the other portions of the top part of the plane. Okay, the main fuselage is starting to set up pretty good. The glue is starting to dry up. So now I'm going to get ready to spray some more adhesive down over the main wing part. I'm going to cover this side of the wing first uh, with the adhesive and then I'm going to lay down some more Henry's weave on this side. Again, I'm going to use the um, scrap piece of the foam board to kind of shield it um, so I don't get too much extra spray and add extra weight where I don't need it. Okay, just do a small layer, make it a little tacky so you can lay down the Henry's weave. Okay, and these pieces of Henry's weave I already had sort of pre cut. So. And I made it so there's a little bit of overlap on the pieces. And you don't have to worry too much about making everything so perfectly lined up and everything. Um, this plane is going to be covered up with um, tape here in a little bit anyway, so you won't even be able to see any of this. And I'm going to do a little bit of a crisscross weave here on this side and make it even stronger with kind of a double layer near the uh, inner part of the wing. Got those all kind of basically on there. I'm just going to spray some more adhesive on top and spread it out with the uh, putty knife again. And around the leading edges later we're going to come back and I'm going to probably just use strapping tape on the very leading edges of the wing. Possible. Basically, I'm going to do the same pattern on the opposite wing um, and cover that, and then we'll probably just do a, a small single, la single layer on the bottom. So, let's spray a little more adhesive on the areas that need it. Yeah, don't be too afraid about putting this up on pretty generously. It'll add a little weight, but you know, as long as you have a nice, good power system, I don't think it's going to be a problem. And I'm planning on putting a Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet on this plane. Should be putting out over uh, close to 400 watts of power. So I don't think it's going to be any problem to push this plane. Uh, one good thing too about using this hemorrhage weave and uh, adhesive on top, it makes a, a lot better surface for the tape to stick to. This tape traditionally doesn't stick to EPP very good by itself. It looks like stuff's starting to tack up already. Uh, but with this coating on, it seems to stick on pretty well. That stuff's drying faster than I thought. Okay, as you can see, I pretty much got the top of the wing uh, pretty much covered with the Henry's weave. Um, I let it dry overnight, so now it's kind of nice and uh, rigid. It's getting a lot more rigid. Um, so now I'm going to put... Um, one layer of the weave basically on the bottom. Um, currently right now all I have is one spar going across the bottom of the wing. It's just a wood spar. Um, but once I put the extra layer of Henry's weave on there I think it's going to be really nice and rigid and um, make a good uh, airfoil. Okay again I pre-cut all the uh, Henry's weave and laid it out on the wing. 
Um, and if you notice over here, kind of in this area, I'm using kind of a double layered criss crisscross of the weave. Um, I, that's kind of a personal preference. I just like to double it up over there near the wing root where I think it needs to be a, a little bit stronger um, than other places on the wing. Um, anyway, that's uh, one side of the wing. I'm going to proceed to lay down the glue just like we did on the top side and then uh, brush it in again with the uh, putty knives and get it all nice and even and let it dry. So let me turn off the video and we'll get back after I get both sides done. Okay, I pretty much completed uh, putting the Henry's weave on the bottom side of the plane. Um, so that pretty much completes the major portion of doing the fiberglass weave on the plane. I may additionally add a little bit of the weave over maybe parts of the fuselage at a little later point. Um, and I think on the leading edge of the wings, I'll probably use a little bit of a strapping tape. So that'll be a quick and easy way to kind of bond the two sides together on the edges. Okay everyone, well I think this pretty much completes part two of the uh, APP Park Jet build. Um, so I guess in part three we're going to move on to start uh, putting in some of the electronics, probably the servos, and then after that we'll probably get into the basic taping of the plane. Um, and then we'll just see how it goes from there. Um, again, thank you for joining us for this part of the build. And if you haven't already seen it, um, please check out our new blog. Um, the link will be over in the sidebar over here on the side. So uh, please check that out. It's um, kind of a temporary website that we put together. Um, we're going to be doing a more detailed uh, formal website, but until then, please check that out. There's a lot of good information, and we're going to be continually adding to it. Um, so please uh, check back often. Uh, thanks again for your support, and uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.